Don't miss this amazing opportunity from Nature's Blends to get your finest premium black seed oil and shilajit to get that energy levels back up. Check them out now. This man proposed to his wife in KFC and a journalist mocked them. And guess what? Allah had a plan and he is the best of plans. Look at what happened, subhanAllah. Here is the video of him proposing to her at KFC and then being mocked by this arrogant, stubborn snob. This is what the journalist had to say, this snob, big-headed, arrogant woman. South African men are so broke, they even propose at KFC. They have absolutely no class. I mean, who proposes at KFC? Because you live in a materialistic world and everything is about aesthetics and what you show, I mean, looking at the picture, yeah, you're probably fake as hell. Probably your hair is fake. Your eyelashes are fake, yeah? Your lips are probably fake. Everything about you is so fake that you think everyone has to be fake like you, whoever the hell you are. And guess what's happened, guys? SubhanAllah. And let me tell you something. The Prophet Sallallahu said, the best barakah is in a wedding that is done small. And there is even studies that show this, that people who are married in a simple wedding are much, much more happier. But we will take that article over what Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us 1400 years ago. This is the state of the Ummah. But anyways, guess what happened? People saw the journalist comments and guess what? Check this out. So, Kulula, I don't know if it's a brand, Hey Mazani's favorite couple, your honeymoon, the honeymoon was on us, so they're a holiday company, yeah? Kulalu holidays are giving you a holiday in Cape Town, including flights and five night accommodation. It doesn't stop there. Check this out, guys. Yes, guys in the sweetest, guys is the sweetest story ever. Please DM me. My jewelry company will donate with these two beautiful rings worth 450. I don't know what they are. They deserve, they deserve rose gold with diamonds. Ah, Rain Cosa will take away all your data, data worries, unlimited data for one year. For only one year. Well, so bloody cheap. Anyways. KFC proposal to keep the wedding excitement open view is giving the couple a 42 inch TV and fully installed decoder. So many people from different companies came together to make this couple's wedding dream come true. And Allah works in mysterious ways guys. You might want to mock somebody and arrogance, this issue of arrogance which Iblis was involved in which caused his demise. Never be arrogant. Never look down on people because Allah will humiliate you. This goes to those re religious, righteous folks, these righteous piety attack individuals who look down on individuals. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put you in your place. Allah never tolerates arrogance from a Muslim or a non-Muslim. Yes, so much so that Ibn Taymiyyah said, somebody who holds, upholds justice, justice, Allah will give them victory even if they're a kuffar nation. So, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if they are, I don't know if they're Muslim or not, if they're not Muslim, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them to Islam. And, you know, hopefully, you know, they have a blessed marriage, inshallah, in a nutshell. That's all I wanted to say. KFC, whatever it is, guys. I know many people, I knew an individual who actually told me that he landed with a bloody helicopter. And guess what? His marriage ended, what, a couple of weeks? A couple of months? Halas. Stop living for others. Do it for yourself and your wife. Stop trying to please others. Most people are doing these weddings and these big lavish things, not even for themselves. They're doing it so somebody can come and say, did you see Zainab's wedding? Ban you Zainab and your wedding. And it's not that you have you Zainab if you are, yeah, okay. Oh, did you see Ahmed landing on a helicopter? Brav, ban you and your helicopter, yeah? Forget living for others. Live for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is where you will find your true freedom. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.